Employers all across America have been very closely watching the decision made for Houston Methodist, the judge ruling against workers who were suing over the hospital's vaccine requirements. Some of the 200 workers were going as far as comparing the requirements to medical experimentation during the Holocaust. But the judge officially tossed the suit, saying vaccination requirements are not coercion because employees can choose to work somewhere else. An option not afforded to victims in the Holocaust. So those employees now have until Monday to get vaccinated or become ineligible to keep their jobs, though they are now saying they plan to appeal the decision and continue their legal fight. They are not the only workers making the case that companies should not be able to require you to get a vaccine or even require you to return to the office. But attorney and former judge Charles Adams points out that the law says otherwise. You're free to go work somewhere else that doesn't require it. You're free to live your life. And that's the big distinction between these people following this pleading and the people in the Holocaust. There was no freedom there. In America, you're free, but your employer is also free to have these requirements. And if you don't like it, you can go find another job. Under Texas law, you can only be protected if your employer is requiring you to engage in a criminal act for which you can be prosecuted. Of course, that's not the case here. There, there's federal law that says you can require it, but you must allow for religious or disability exceptions. There were 285 people at Methodist that were given either a religious or a disability exception, and there were another 330 pregnant employees that were given a deferment. If a reasonable accommodation is not possible, then they can still terminate your employment. On a similar note, a lot of people are being asked or told to return to the office, even though they want to continue working from home. What right, if any, do people have to say, I don't want to come back? Not in Texas. You're not entitled to dictate to your employer where and when and how you want to work. If you're pregnant or have a medical condition, do things change? No, not really. I mean, obviously they can't put you in danger, but it's not an unlawful or discriminatory termination to tell your employees it's time to come back to the office. Even if you can argue that you can successfully do the work from home. It doesn't matter. What if someone sees certain employees being allowed to continue to work from home, but they're not being allotted that opportunity? If you are feeling like you're discriminated against, you can always go start the process by filing a complaint with the EEOC. But again, an employer can say, hey, all the sales staff can continue to work remotely, but the on-site production staff needs to come in. As long as how they're defining those groups isn't about a protected class or a discriminatory intent. In terms of vaccine requirements, Charles says the Methodist case will remain in the spotlight as one of the first major legal battles to set precedent for other companies coming out of the pandemic. But bottom line, vaccine requirements and return to work mandates are fully legal since you always have your freedom to quit and work elsewhere. We'll be right back.